Our next contestant, contestant number 20, Lim Sin In. Traditions and customs. Traditions and customs. Lim Sin In. Good afternoon, judges, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lim Sin In from Holy Innocence High School. I would like to start my speech by asking all of you a question. How many of you know how to make pineapple tarts? Like you know, the pineapple tarts that you and your family make together before Chinese New Year. You see, personally, I used to bake homemade pineapple tarts with my family and friends. But all these stopped by the time I turned nine. Why? Because this tradition of making homemade pineapple tarts with my family and friends died down. Hello, will you be coming back this weekend? Oh wait, no, I'm too busy. I have something on. You, surely you'll come back, right? Oh wait, no, 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 I have track practice. This went on, one by one, cousin by cousin, and relative by relative, and soon, nobody came back. Today, in my speech, I'll be talking about traditions and customs. Now, can anyone tell me which century are we living in? We are living in the 21st century, an era with rapid modernization and urbanization. Our lifestyles are developing so fast and so quickly, just like the HDBs that we see all around us. Leading fast-paced lifestyles with the most latest and trendy devices on hand, how many times do we actually slow down and appreciate the more traditional things that were in our lives? How many of us actually write handwritten letters to our family and friends? I'm sure a majority of us use social media sites such as WhatsApp to send our regards. Am I right? Traditions and customs are diamonds that are handed down to us from our ancestors, from our forefathers, the very ones who built this nation up, and with the tiding of time, some of which are long gone and extinct, some of which are still around but are at the very brink of extinction. Have we ever thought of what were to happen if all these traditions and customs were to be gone forever? What would it be like to live in a world that's all about technology and impersonality? A world that is replaced by the digital realm? Would you rather live in a world just like the digital realm or the dystopian novels you read? A world whereby there's little, minimum or no human interaction? A world whereby you no longer get greeted by the friendly aunties or uncles at your favourite food store, but instead, you're being greeted by nothing but a cold machine with a monotone voice. There'll be no more smiles, no more humanly interaction. The human touch will be gone forever. Nothing. So, what can we do? What should we do? We can all first start by pledging our support to preserving the traditions and customs that are all around us, be it initiating to carrying them out ourselves or simply encouraging others to follow suit. Some of the things we can do will be giving out actual, physical, red packets rather than the digital ones. Or we can always use hashtags such as hashtag this is my custom to raise awareness about the different customs and traditions that are all around us. In this modernized world, technology can be on our side if we choose to use it properly, taking advantage on how it can reach the masses in little yet effective time. I would like to end by saying that it is the different customs and traditions that shape our ethnicities and hence the diversity that we enjoy in Singapore. Do your part today. Thank you.